Good afternoon everybody, it's nearly three o'clock, your work day is almost over. Um, I've been working on a little project over the last couple of hours, as well as uh, posting all my words and wisdom and everything else spiritual up on Facebook. Um, I've just put a post up uh, for you guys to read, it's all about mirror scrying and working with your spirit guides and things like that as well as using this for paranormal events as well uh, and i just want to show you what i've made it's something which dates back to uh, the early early 18th century uh, majority of the people use this form of mirror scrying with the box standard mirror uh, and i just wanted to go back to the old ways of doing it <clears throat> as you're probably aware mirror scrying uh, is a form of um, reflection from a water source that's how it used to be done back in the day and then when the Egyptians invented mirrors and they came over to this side of the world and we realized we look very pretty and then we also start using them for other things as well um, your box standard mirror would have um, Debbie Barford you're saying good morning it's afternoon here in the UK I'm not quite sure where you're from but hope you're well uh, the, our standard mirrors which are made <clears throat> uh, in mass production normally have a copper and a silver line and back uh, which is built up of many many layers but in order to make a black scrying mirror then you you would need to make the reflection or should I say the reflective side of the mirror black uh, and I'm just going to quickly show you how I've done that uh, we're going to use this this Saturday night when we're down in the old Nick um theater uh good afternoon kieran uh it's worth a watch this mate very basic uh, and simple to make and very cheap as well uh we it sounds good this time yes i'm using my mobile phone i'm still having problems with facebook and we try to rectify the problem with my microphone which you can't see there hi lisa hope you're well um hi y'all uh so basically what i'm going to sh show you <clears throat> Uh, is how I've made the paranormal black mirror which is going to be used for our paranormal events uh, it, it is also known as the magic mirror uh, there is an article I've just posted eight minutes ago on my Facebook wall uh, and I just want to show you what I've done with the mirror uh, which I purchased well actually it is in a mirror but I've made it into a mirror um, so your box standard mirror there it is uh, a nice clear reflection loving the love art but this is your your normal vanity mirror right and if i turn around as you can see there my reflection is crystal clear in there as you can see uh, all the details there that's my good side this side and if i turn around completely and angle that then you can see the back of my head and all the spots and everything else but that's your box standard mirror so what i've done guys excuse the side of my head i purchased a normal picture frame <clears throat> if i hold it the right way up this frame size is ideal because it's easy manageable and if you're going back and forth to different locations as a paranormal team <clears throat> I've got a bit of a cough but fortunately I haven't got the hiccups um, this frame size is 12 by 10 inches or 34 centimeters by 25 and obviously it comes with a glass inside what I've done is removed the backing got the glass uh, polished it to make sure there's no fingerprints on it then I use this black enamel paint, uh, which states it's ideal for exterior and interior projects, uh, provides a perfect black gloss finish on wood, metal and ceramic sur surfaces. Glass being close to ceramic, then obviously it's stuck to that as well. Uh, this has only cost uh, just under £5 from your DIY store. Your standard <coughs> enamel style paint. And I've took the glass out, polished it uh, with a microfiber cloth to make sure there's no fingerprints on. Because once you paint the back of the mirror or spray the back of the mirror, any fingerprints are going to be stuck there for, forever. Uh, being very careful not to touch the back of the glass, I've sprayed it in a, in a non-windy environment where there's bugs and dust and anything else flying about. And I've got the finish near enough to mirror standards however you can't see your reflection in it this is the bizarre part i'll pop the glass back into the frame and this is what it looks like now so what we've got if i turn it away we've got a nice shiny glass a pure black finish 
which is the uh, back side of the glass and if I turn it round yes you can see light in it and that's what we want to do because we're going to use this mirror with candles in front of it or soft light soft torch uh, obviously we can't always use candles in certain locations so we have to use another form of light which is going to be like a tea light or an artificial light uh, if I turn round and show you what I've previously shown you this is my reflection there and it's nice and sharp and clear but if I use this one now <clears throat> can you see how dull my figure is my image my reflection and if I turn right round yes you can see the computer monitors behind me uh, because the the of a brilliant light but what you can't see is the light reflecting off the side of my face um, what they use the black mirror for obviously it's mirror scry and I'm just going to read something <clears throat> off the screen in front of me so you'll have to bear with my nostrils but a black scry mirror or magic mirror what it's also uh, also known as is a powerful psychic tool it can um, bring hidden knowledge to anyone who's clairvoyant the ability of mediumship and things like that and it acts as a portal to the other plane the other the other realm as of such uh, scrying is an ancient art of clairvoyance achieved by concentrating on an object usually one which is on a reflective surface so it's going to be your black outline of your face um, and and you're waiting until a, a visual effect appears so you're going to either see <clears throat> excuse me another image appear over your face you're going to start seeing uh, maybe a loved one come through or you could even see your spirit guide as well uh, if you're going to a location which is haunted thank you for the love art guys please share this if you want make sure it hits the right audience but if you're looking to connect to the the spirit who are connected to the location you're at then obviously you're going to invite these spirits through and hopefully connect to them as well and as a medium i normally get a good image of these these spirits who i'm connecting to uh, and for our audience how people who are with us our guests then there's a good chance they're going to see um the spirit who i've also seen as well thank you for sharing kieran um ways to use a scrying mirror uh, obviously like i said to con contact your spirit guide it's also to access knowledge i through your sensitivity being a medium or even uh, for the individual who's not a sensitive person or don't believe <clears throat> they're a sensitive person um it helps uh, your sensitivity uh, as a as a development medium for healing and self improvement uh, it's it's a magical transmitter and receiver as of such because we're using that as a kind of um a communicational device just like you would with a spirit box uh, ovulus machine uh, spirit board or ouija board you were using that black mirror exactly to do that as you would ask a spirit board or ouija board uh, to make a connection through the letters on the board we are asking spirit to make a connection as a visual um, type to to communicate through this mirror and obviously being sensitive we're going to get that communication ourselves clear audience uh, it's also used as um, in the past uh, to, to look at the past present and future and it's it's also known as a portal to the other side to another astral plane um, so I've showed you how to make it very basic you just buy your box standard five pound picture frame from your local store somewhere like a B and Q store, which is a DIY store in UK. We have a store which is also called uh, Wilco's. Um, they sell basic picture frames, or maybe from your local supermarket. Box standard frame, normal piece of glass in it. You normally see one of these sheets just behind the glass, telling you the size. You remove that, and then obviously put your photo in there. In this case, I have sprayed the back of the glass with a enamel paint and I've give it four to five coats ensuring I don't touch the side of the glass I'm going to spray because once your fingerprint is on that back of the glass you're going to spray over the top, top of it and every time you look in this pane of glass you're going to see that fingerprint first um, then I used a, a small um, utility blade like that to clean the front of the glass to get any imperfections off any bits of paint which is gone onto the front of that glass uh, and then I've removed all the debris 
give it a normal good clean with a microfiber cloth and a, and a basic window cleaning uh, glass and then we've left with that uh, have you tried to spirit spirit trumpet meal I'm not I'm not sure what you mean by that so yeah uh, the total cost probably around 10 pound not sure what that is in in dollars uh, but it's your box standard 12 by 10 picture frame plain piece of glass repeatedly sprayed with an enamel high gloss paint don't use hammerite because you'll get a bubble effect and it's then turned your, your basic mirror into a black magic scrying mirror um, there is some comments underneath this post i'll repeat them in this live feed as well so you can have a look um, and thank you for joining me as well let's see who's here lisa anyone else uh, natasha goldsmith good good afternoon from the uk uh, jason harris uh, is also watched and shared i believe kieran i've spoke about you anyone else um, laura ann uh, lisa again scrying mirror yes i'm going to post the comments in the bottom of this feed so you can actually read them if you don't see them in my post anyway just bear with me guys um, I can see your comments a lot better now in here let's see if those are the right comments there we go there's the comments in there uh, that's telling you all about what I've said uh, like I say five pound for your box standard picture frame get the glass out polish it no fingerprints spray the back repeatedly with um, a high gloss enamel paint and do sweeps don't go over the object if though you were doing the edge of it like that because then you'll get big clumps of paint running all over so if this is a surface make sure you go on a sweep process right across do not stop on the glass and then change position go across it just like people when they're spraying cars and things like that they go past the object and back again uh, total cost 10 pound an hour's worth of my time and probably 15 minutes of it drying out in a nice sunny day and we're going to use this device for our a black scrying mirror yes we're going to use this device for our paranormal event down in the old nick in Gaines, Gainsborough anyone who's joining us there's still tickets left uh, for you to attend guys um, just check and see if I've missed anyone Sandra Wilson Morgan good afternoon um, right uh, don't forget to like and share guys thank you for sharing anyway I can see three of you guys have already shared it uh, love light uh, Jason Harris has shared it thank you Jason Lisa Kieran thank you very much I bid you good day guys um, I'll be getting ready for my weekend of work with mediumship now uh, so I'll catch up with you maybe tomorrow morning with some words of wisdom as well uh, hope you well guys leave your comments in the post if there's anything you need to ask take care guys have a good day